Prince just me, the big boys are starting to come out now. Right lads, you are not gonna believe what I'm about to show you. This is not clickbait. You're probably thinking this is the Momo FIFA HD vid. No, this is legit. I have got in front of me that I'm about to show you right now a 10 million coin team full of icons. It's one of the best teams that you're gonna see on this game to date. It has some of your favorite players that you've ever seen. It has players that you'll never be able to afford on this game. What I am staring at right now is gonna blow your mind. It's the best team. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I wanna thank the Emperor HD. This guy is almost about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna leave a link to him in the description. It's his team. He is some rich kid from Dubai. Go and serve him, man. He has got some of the best teams I've ever seen. And he has lent me his 10 million coin squad. It is, wow. Are you ready for, are you actually ready for this? Take a look. Oh my God, I told you, I told you. If your Willy hasn't just got had, you, I don't know, I have no idea, because mine, mine did when I saw this team. I shot all sorts all over my lap. It's absolutely ridiculous. And to start us off in goal, we've got our first icon, and he goes by the name of Les Yashin. He's one of the best goalkeepers on this game, if not the best goalkeeper. He's 91 rated. He's six foot two. The guy's a giant. He has 93 diving, 93 reflexes with 92 positioning. What more? What other stats can you give Les? He's from, I've never heard of him until this game, he's from the 1960s. And he was absolutely unbelievable, as you can clearly see. The guy was a, a living cat. We then, of course, move on to Rio Ferdinand. And Rio Ferdinand, back in the day, was the most expensive defender in the Premier League. I think this is his actual Premier League amazing. When he went for like 20-odd mil back in the day to Leeds, to Man United. He has 84 pace with 84 defending. What more can the guy have on a card? Big and black, which gives you extra stats for some reason. If you just give you stats for being black. He's unbelievable, look at him, he's strong as an ox. You ain't getting past Ferdinand, let's be honest. You're gonna get a slap if you even attempt to get past this guy. And partner of Ferdinand, what better than another big black guy called Frank Reichardt. Yes, ex-Barcelona manager. This guy back in his day was an absolute beast. He had 78 pace with 88 defending and 85 physical, a four star weak foot just because he can. Just because he wants to take the piss. This guy, once again, it's gonna be unstoppable. It's one of the best defenses you're ever gonna see. And just when you thought you couldn't get any more icons in a single defense, well guess what, I've just put Roberto Carlos in too. He's 88 rated, he's bold, he's black, and he's an assassin. Trust me, this guy has 90 pace with 81 shooting on a left back. You could play this guy up front and he'd be better than most strikers. Look at his stats. I'm actually gonna try Roberto Carlos up front because I think this guy could be absolutely, he could be lethal. And then finally in this defense, unfortunately the icons have come to an end in the defense anyway, we've got Antonio Valencia in form, 85 rated, and just take a little look. He deserves to be in this defense, he don't need to be an icon. Look at his stats. The guy has 89 pace, what are you gonna do about it? 81 defending, what are you gonna do about it? 80 passing, just because he can. I personally don't think Valencia will have any trouble holding his own in this defense, he looks, he looks unbelievable. We move up to the CDM and Kante. Yeah, you're probably all thinking, hmm, He's got all icons and then he got Kante because Kante is one of the best CDMs on the game. He's not so cheap, but he's cheaper than the majority of players in his team and he is unstoppable. Just look at the color of his skin, you know he's gonna be good. He might only be five foot six, but just take a look at his stats. He has 81 pace with 81 defending and 84 physical. Kante will not be bullied. I repeat, he will not be bullied. But then, lads, guess what? The icons return because we've got Rude Hullet. Not quite the big ban at Ruto, but we got the one where his banner was on the way from getting big. I think the bigger the banner, the better Hullet gets. He's six foot three, and we all know he's got one of the most rounded cards on FIFA. He has for the last three years. Since he's had a legend special card, this guy has been one of the best on the game. He has a five star weak foot. He can play any position in midfield. You can play in cam, you can play in CDM, or you can just play in centre mid and he will play unbelievable for you. Yes, he is about 1.3, 1.4, I think he's even gone up. But just look at his stats. Oh my goodness gracious me, the big boys are starting to come out now. Ronaldinho, three million coins this guy will cost you. Three million of your mothers to get you Ronaldinho, but he's that kind of guy, man. He's so good, he's such a living legend. 
You could come back steaming from a night out. Walk through the door. You see a pair of Ronaldinho's AstroTurfs. You're thinking, what are they doing there? You walk into your bedroom, you see him plowing your missus. You literally go over, you give him a high five and you go and make him a cup of coffee because you know Ronaldinho is that kind of guy. Ronaldinho could get away with murder, he can do anything. He is one of the best cards on the game. He's one of the best players to ever live. And just, I'm going to let you read out those stats yourself. He is an absolute god. Three million coins. We then have Gabriel Jesus. Now, once again, you lot are all thinking he's just gone from Ronaldinho to Gabriel Jesus. He's gone from three million to 30k. Because Gabriel Jesus is one of the best strikers on the game. And if you haven't worked it out by now, you soon will. I guarantee you'll probably be the top goal scorer in this team. He's cheap. He's sweaty. He's got first out skills, first out weak foot. He's the new Wellington. He is this year's Wellington. He is absolutely unstoppable. He's Brazilian. He fits into every team. And trust me, his stats, when you see him in game, he makes you smash up a lot of these pads, I'm telling you. But finally, lads, to complete this absolutely outrageous team, we've got Inform Aguero. 90 rated, brand new Inform, 88 pace with 90 dribbling. Oh my goodness gracious me. Yes, he'll cost you almost around about a million coins, but trust me, I've heard he's worth it. He looks really good and I'm looking forward to using him, but just take another look at this team. It's unstoppable. It literally is unstoppable. I'm going to go into a game, I'm going to try, I'll probably still end up losing, but look at some of these players, run right off, wow, do you know what, let's go and have a look. Well, 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 can you imagine this guy's face when he's coming up against one of the best teams he's probably ever played on FIFA? I'd probably shit myself and run away, I'd probably just back out before I even started. Ronaldinho, what a save, who's that in gold trap? Jesus, Ronaldinho's causing problems already. Ronaldinho, put this on, lad. Ronaldinho, Jesus! Oh man, Ronaldinho, you've got to put that away. That was a one-on-one, -on -one, mate. Should have slot that home. Jesus, here we go. He can put him home, though. He can put him home. Told you, lads. Gabriel Jesus will probably be top goal scorer in this team. It's mad. It's actually mad. The guy just, he just puts him home. We'll go into the first half. Comfortably 1-0 up. I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot more goals second half. This guy's not the worst player. But there's more goals next half. Oh my god, it's got a window. My god, boys. How have we been opened up like that? Best defense on the game. Just walk straight through me. Oh my god, some bullshit. Bullshit. Mate, the guy's running through a player's like fucking Alan Smith. This is bollocks, look at this. Best keeper on the game, mate. It's a one on one, you've got to save it. Wow. Oh my, did you just see this ball? Did you just see this bullshit? A Danutis, a random dude called Shaglian, I don't even know, has just scored one of the biggest screamers I've ever seen. Like, I, this team's unplayable. I'm preferred to play my 15k sweat team. Look at that! Whoa! Me, I've had better games than my 15k sweat team. The scripting's back, like, good players don't play good. I've got the best defense in the game and he's just walking through me. Boys, I'm going to tell you right now. I have got a 100k team with Rashford. I've got a 100k team with Morelas. Gabriel Jesus. Ericsson. And they play a million times better than that. The only player that scored for me was Jesus. Yashin in goal didn't even make a save. He didn't even make a single save. I have just played with one of the best teams on FIFA, and I am telling you, lads, no bullshit. It doesn't play that good. I'm not even that bad on this FIFA. I've been playing it quite a lot. I win majority of games, but that team, it just isn't good. I don't know what it is. Gabriel Jesus is probably the best player in the whole team. He's 81 rated. Ronaldinho, he was decent, but quite weak. Aguero gets bags off the ball for fun. Defence, well, at times it was non-existent. Obviously, Antonio Valencia has high attacking work rate, so he's up the pitch, but... Yashin! What were you doing? Yashin! Bro, what were you doing? 1960? I don't know what they were doing in 1960, but I'm telling you, FIFA 18, he does absolutely nothing. They guy didn't make a single save. So there you have it, lads. If you've got 10 million coins, I honestly would not recommend buying that team. 
It isn't good. Five minutes added. Five minutes for Real. Oh! And they don't need it. That one just tapped away.